A major restoration process is underway in downtown Hannibal. It's an effort to maintain the city's historic roots, linking it to Mark Twain and his father. KHQA's David Amalotti explains how after visiting Mr. Clemens' Justice of the Law Office, you get a sense of going back in time to Twain's childhood. From stools and chairs, furniture, books and tools, and even old-time board games. Everything inside Mr. Clemens' Justice of the Law office is being relocated for a complete restoration process to begin. It's a place like this that makes the story of Clemens, or Twain if you prefer, come to life. A concept that makes Gail Bryant, director of the Hannibal Convention and Visitors Bureau, smile. We receive visitors from all around the world that want to experience exactly what they read in Mark Twain's books. They want to be firsthand. Executive director of the Mark Twain Boyhood Home and Museum, Henry Sweet, says, renovations are needed to further enhance the visitor's experience. Just given the age of these buildings, when you're figuring they're more than 160 years old and wooden buildings, they've had a lot of uh, deterioration through the years. It was built on Bird Street around 1843 and then moved a block down in the 1950s. When it reopens, a ledger documenting cases John Clemens presided over will be showcased. We'll be able to take a look at what a justice of the peace was, what sort of cases he held, and really become more of an educational tool than we've had in the past. Sweet says this three-phase restoration process involves loving care. To think that the buildings would look uh, at home if uh, Mark Twain were to come back today is a very thrilling thought. Reporting in Hannibal, David Amelotti, KHQA News. And we want you to visit us on Wednesday in Hannibal as our Mountain Dew Days of Summer supported by County Market continue. We're going to be in Central Park at 5 and 6 to broadcast our newscast live. You're welcome to show up before 5, even around 4.30 to come and join us for that. You can see kind of how the news works. Pretty cool there. At 6.30, Karen's Dance Academy will perform. Then the band No Wake will perform at 7.30. Then at 8.30, we're showing the movie Muppets Most Wanted. All the entertainment is free for the whole family. Hoping for nice weather and to see you all there.